Hello friends, my name is Tejendra Jangid. Here I am discussing the objective solution of the synchronous machine from question number 31 to question number 40. Okay, and next video is coming soon for the solution of uh, for solution of assistant executive engineer Telangana for previous paper. Coming soon solutions are for previous year paper uh, of engineering like ISRO uh, and assistant executive engineer and IES etc. And for the power electronics and commission solution are that is power electrons for PLD, EMFT, Matthew, and ODQ, and uh, electromagnetic song outline series, signal system for song series, uh, and many more. So don't forget to subscribe my channel. That is anybody can download education at ABCD Education. Okay. Now come to the question number 31. A round rotor alternator has the leakage leakage reactance of 10 percent and armature resistance armature reaction uh, reaction reactance that is 90 percent okay and negligible armature resistance with the uh, with the machine initially running at a rated speed and terminal voltage 1 per unit uh, three phase short circuit is applied and sustained armature current will be these are the option now come to the solution this is a simple question okay so the this is the leakage reactance this is the single so the and this is the armature reactance so the total synchronous reactance that is 100 percent 100 percent so the one per unit okay and terminal voltage is one per unit now this is the equivalent circuit now find the uh, ten wind circuit ten way equivalent of this circuit then total internal uh, reactance that is one per unit and total terminal at uh, terminal voltage that is open circuit terminal voltage that is one per unit now come to the this is the equivalent thermal circuit okay now find the fault current this fault current this short circuit current that is iaf which is equal to one voltage divided by impedance that is minus j per unit so the a magnitude of this current that is one per unit so the answer c is correct now come to the question number 32 a synchronous generator with the synchronous reactance of 1.3 per unit is connected to the infinite bus whose voltage is one per unit through an equivalent reactance of 0.2 per unit for the maximum power output of 1.2 per unit the alternator emf must be these are the option now come to the solution this is the simple question we note that the power input is ev upon x for the maximum power sine del that is nine del is 90 so that it is one okay for the maximum output we get e equals to 1.8 per unit that is c is correct option now come to the question number 36 the consider the following statement for the three phase alternator designed to operate at a point at a power factor that is 0.85 these are the option now come to the solution this is a simple question but we have to understand what is the concept in behind this question okay now if it is working alternator is working at lagging power factor at this 8.85 now if the power factor is increased from 0.85 okay now power factor is increased from 0.85 then the rotor feed current is decreased and armature feed current is also decreased so the both are not a limiting factor factor so the statement first and statement two both are wrong now come to the statement number three if power factor is reduced from 0.85 from 0.85 it is reduced okay at lagging power factor then the our uh, field rotor field current is increased and armature current is also increased so the both are the limiting factor so the three four are correct option so the uh, as per my uh, concern that is three and four is correct mm, but in the bsb umbra that is one and four is correct which is wrong uh, and three four is correct now come to the question number three four thirty four Mm, consider the following statement these are the mode now modern alternator are designed for the large air gap to have these are the option now come to the solution plus now what happened when the air gap is increased okay now if the air gap is increased then what will happen the variation in the reluctance and flux is decreased okay if the air gap length is provided to be larger so the slot harmonics are minimized however 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 air gap length cannot be increased beyond a particular limit as the magnetizing current im increase and power factor will decrease in the ac machine as 
mentioned in the question that are there are alternator in ac machine it is necessary to minimize harmonics emf to make emf waveform sinusoidal so for uh, for this purpose air gap length is provided to be larger while in case of dc machine slot harmonics is not a major problem so air gap length is comparative comparatively smaller now come to the statement number first a large inherent voltage inherent regulation this is not uh, related to air gap because it is uh, related to moment of inertia of machine okay so the statement first is not uh, not correct now come to the statement number 2 as we know that uh, stability of the synchronous machine is inversely proportional to the reactance if the reactance is decreased then the stability is increased okay now if we in increase the air gap then the reactance will increase due to this reactance will decrease okay now after decreasing the reactance the stability will increase as you mentioned in the question that is parallel operation in the parallel operation the stability also increase okay now come so the statement 2 is correct now come to the statement number 3 the highest stability limit if we know that uh, stability is inversely proportional, proportional to the reactance so the stability will increase now come to the statement number 4 sinusoidal emf distribution as mentioned in the statement that is we get sinusoidal emf due to the larger air gap so the option b is correct now come to the question number 35 a single phase uh, 2000 volt alternator has the armature resistance these these and reactance these then the voltage regulation of the alternator that is uh, for the 100 ampere and 0.8 power factor lagging is now this is the simple question now this is the phase diagram now we applied that e square equals to v cos theta i a r a is whole square v sin theta plus i a x a whole square from the phase diagram and for the power leading power factor theta is replaced by minus theta then we get this expression now after putting the values of v cos theta i a r a x a then we get e equals to this then voltage regulation minus 8.9 percent so the statement b is correct option b is correct now come to the statement number question number 36 a turbo alternator sets feed the power uh, to the three phase constant voltage constant frequency bus if the steam supply to the set uh, to cut off the uh, set will <clears throat> now come to the solution when the steam supply is cut off cut from the turbine then no mechanical input is available so in this condition the synchronous generator work as a synchronous motor due to lack of mechanical input so the armature current in the stator change its direction due to the change of armature current the position of pole on the stator shift by 180 degree angle and the continue to run in the same direction in monitor, mo motoring mode okay as mentioned in the question that uh, that uh, as mentioned in the statement that armature current is reversed due to this s pole is converted into n pole and n pole is converted into the s pole okay now for the synchronization between the s and n pole this pole is shifted by 180 degree okay 